Hi, I'm Mary Haifman, PGA Golf Pro from Mequon, Wisconsin. I wanted to add, uh, I do a lot of putting games and I really do believe in the gamification of golf. I really believe that uh, because I was a super good player at one time, I don't practice as much, so my skill level is not quite the same, but I really do believe that you have to have games when you practice. Otherwise, you get totally bored. Your brain just, why don't, you know, in, in college when I was on, um, our coaches tried to make us make uh, 10 three-foot putts in a row, 10 six-footers, 10 nines. And I was always stuck on number nine on the three-foot putt because I made the first eight great, and then I, I my my mind was wandering. I didn't concentrate enough to make make it. I finally did it after months and months of practice. So, but I don't. I totally think you need to do games as much as possible to catch you keep your concentration. So this putting game that I have with the the cup. I've got a couple uh, spots here, these, these cups short. I'm trying to create that three foot circle for you to leave the ball inside because you don't always make all the putts. In fact, the pros make nine out of 10 three footers, but when they get back to six, six feet, they're in the, I think it's, it's pretty close to 50% and then 10% from 10 feet. You see all the guys making them on, on TV because those are the guys that are winning that week but a lot of the time they're not making them, but they're certainly not three putting. Pros three putt from 60 feet, amateurs three putt typically from 18 feet. And I, I try to have you go out and pace off 18 feet, that's not that far. So we need to really improve our distance putting. One of the, so you could practice this game on a flat surface, but I think you should add, after you do this a while, add some variables, add a little slope. So how do you do that inside? We gotta think out of the box. So when, when we were kids, we thought all kinds of crazy things. We used our umbrella. We stuck the umbrella under a rug. It made it an incline. So I put back here and try to see if I could get it up over the hill and then down to the cup and stop within that three foot circle. So it had to have to practice because I'm happy that it hit the cup, it would have been out of there. So my goal is to be short of the, yellow, of the, of the pink ruler if I miss this putt. So I gotta get the feel of up and over. So I'd be getting two points because if a make is five, inside this square is two, anything short of this or long is nothing. So I got to get a, I got to practice a little, little cause it's a lot faster than I even anticipated, but it's kind of fun because now I've got a hill and I've added something to it. So experiment, put some hills in here, curve them sideways. See now that adds a different dimension because now I've got to aim a little bit to the right because I've curved it. So the ball's going to go up the hill and curve opposite. See, that went out of there. So I got to figure this out now on how I can make this work. So have some fun, put some uh, an umbrella underneath, put a little, um, geez, I've even used um, a vacuum cleaner cord, anything, a bat, use a bat. A bat would work good too. Anything to give some elevation. It's fun, it's engaging your brain, and it's improving your game. So have fun and check out MaryHaithmanGolf.com for, for more information about coaching and my coaching programs that will help you improve your game.